unfortunately for us and everybody watching at home, they're wrong as we get to see another map between these two Titans. Here we go then, 2-1 in the series, 2-E United. Early on here, it's going to be all blue in the kill feed as E United start out strong, just absolutely decimating the initial push here from Reciprocity. And that's going to turn into some early control here. We're in the first hard point. Surely managed to answer back though, but great start here from E United answering back after Reciprocity's strong end to the last game. Now, Shawnee trying to take a little bit of control of the catwalk up top, not quite able to. And a lot of the times it's very, very difficult for either side to get any significant time on that first hard point. You have to have basically all up at catwalk control and make sure you get those spawns locked in. Or you're just going to get shot from up top as soon as you get onto it. Right now though, the most important thing is going to be this rotation into Lambo. See at the moment, it's going to be E United trying to push the front, but they're just running into the Maddox of Tommy at the moment. Shawnee picks up one, three players fall in quick succession, making another one. Clayster's going to be back into the respawn screen for just a few moments here, and the rotation has been one hit by Reciprocity, and for the early time on the board for E United, Reciprocity answering back. Now, Waskins managed to get that kill. That's a big kill for him there to kind of lock this one down at the same time. They're managing to do it. Reciprocity have still got control. Looking for that player in the water. It's going to be us that he says, <laughs> desperately Whoop. trying to get out of there. Knowing that player's called in, and he will probably shout that out to the rest of his teammates. But it has opened a gap in their defenses. Here comes the water assault. So many players of E United are going to be down here at the same time. But they're wise to it. They are putting enough guns in the area for them. Trying to actually jump out, get that one at the same time. And Reciprocity hold on and are in the lead for this next rotation. Yeah, they managed to wipe out every single member of E United there. They hold on and now you are going to see that rotation. Towards the fences now to the next hard point. Tommy desperately trying to stay alive. He's going to drop a couple of grenades out here. The concussion nade goes out as well to stun the player. Trying to push the fences. The attack is coming from the front here, but saying that, it's E United who are going to be trying their best to hold on to this hard point. Somehow they managed to jump inside, but kills are going in the favour here of Reciprocity. Now, finally, E United managed to break in. They have the bodies in here now. It's Simp. Simp been a such a force for E United. Can he continue to do so? Managing to back away, staying alive, playing his life. And right now, Reciprocity don't have the bodies to really go in for this one. Even with that lightning strike, nobody really in a position to capitalise on it kind of curious why they called that in at all. Yeah, pretty early to be calling that in and getting absolutely nothing done with it, unfortunately. And now this is going to be all E United all this time. They're just eating it up. They're saying thank you very much, Reciprocity. Good hold from them. And now we're going to see that rotation coming. At the moment, you have to say that Reciprocity set up for this new hard point. going to have to repel this push, strong push coming from the steps from E United. It's going to be a pretty much one-way push, to be honest with you, as Pristini now moves to the catwalk, looking to put some pressure on for the side, and here comes the push now. Pristini gets taken down. Kill's going to be traded. And it's going to be a stronghold here from Reciprocity as the congestion comes in. Dylan finds one. Big plays actually from Waskin so far. He's 11-3 and three onto this map. He was on a nine streak at one point. Still has his Hellstorm available. I was wondering whether or not he was going to go down, but eventually he got traded out. And now they're still holding. Reciprocity have this completely. Still got that Hellstorm in the back pocket. Watson's also about to hit his tack five. Can call that in if he wants to. As soon as he gets it, he is playing so well, he knows he's going to get it again. Yeah, and Tommy just emerged from the water there like a like a beluga whale and jumped up and picked up a couple of kills to catch those E United players off guard. Finally, E United will make some progress, but it's not in time as we see the rotation now coming in from Reciprocity towards the new hard point. Waskin with streaks in the bag as well. Oh, Clayster just played that fantastic. Great shot punch from him going in. But now Sims actually got streaks. Sims has a lightning strike as well. Neither of these two teams letting it go. Finally, we've got a game between them. There's that attack five coming in as well. And now both teams actually fighting around the middle here. This was disastrous for reciprocity first time around. And again, as usual, around this point, we can just see a lot of fighting up in the upper catwalk area. Both teams really need control of it if you want to get onto that point for any length of time. Dylan manages to find one. Pristini jumps back out though and challenges with that Maddox to finish him off. And it's going to be contested on the hill early here. Back and forth at the moment. And we can hear the crowd behind us really trying to get behind the European boys at the moment. I know their tournament life's on the line. As we see the rotation towards Lambo now. Waskin, Dylan, 
And the boy is currently all jumping up through the window from the water, and it seems to be working for them. But E United managing to hold on here, and it's Abizi who's doing work at the moment, and it's a great hold here from E United as the pressure came in from Reciprocity. This is time on the board for them. This is a good chunk of Reciprocity's time in that first set of rotations. Now it looks like E United have control of it. And we have specialists in play. That grab slam for Abizi could come in dynamite. Eventually he's going to go down. Arsenal ends up killing Abizi at the same time. And Watkins takes him down. Big trade for them. And now they've taken it to the hard way. Reciprocity have control. Sims trying to go in through the side corridor. Not quite able to get anything from it either. They get stunned. But now they do have control. 25 seconds left. This is the last swing of the dice. E United will go for this, and then they will go for the rotation. E yeah, United are pushing here, and it's going to be Pristini versus Zed, and Zed win his, his battle as well. I'm looking across the scores at the moment, and Waskin currently sat at 18 and 9. A great performance from him in this map. You saw him get hyped after that win that they managed to get in map number three. And he's trying to continue that form here. And you can see set up for this next hard point as well. But he's in such a sneaky position at the moment, just waiting to, to jump out. I'm not sure if any United players know he's there, but he jumps out and he manages to pick up one there on Sim. Kills traded across the board, which Waskin picks oh, up another. Oh, oh, Waskin oh. stepping up here for Rex. Unbelievable, Waskin has put this team on his back. and says, we are not going out like that. And continues to gun, and you can see the confidence on him as he continues to challenge. And now incoming lightning strike. Simp doesn't manage to get anyone with it, but manages to shut it down. Ooh. And that's actually going to be a double grab slam going in. Zed doesn't get on the good end of it. He ends up losing it as well. And now more things are coming in. I think we just saw a Tempest get popped. So Pristini manages to pick up the shot punch there on Tommy as they push through. This is time, though, for E United. 15 seconds left on this hard point. And around a 25-point lead in the game here to Reciprocity. As we're going to see, all the teams try and rotate and fight for that next hard point. Looking at the minimap at the moment, it looks like control might well be in the hands of Reciprocity. But Pristini has the opportunity to make a play, but surely his awareness was fantastic there to check his back and shut someone down. Now, things heating up between these two teams as we rotate once again into Big Rock. Zed trying to do a little bit of work for his team, but not quite able to. Dylan putting the shots down, but they are being traded out. It will be E United in full control. And they look like they're trying to hold on, but incoming Waskins again. Just shutting them down. Finally, Prestini has his Tempest out, so he's going to be the player to keep an eye on because he should be able to chain anything down to anyone he finds. Let's move over to Prestini there. Let's see what he can do with that Tempest as we're seeing Clayster put the pressure on. Misses one shot. They miss it oh. the second as well, but it's not going to be that effective. However, the Abizi Sorg has been affected a lot of the time, and this time he's got a Maddox in his hand and it's working just as well for him. Sim picks up one there. Dylan trades a couple out. Reciprocity pick up some kills. Just seven seconds left on this hard point here. And looking across the map at the moment. It looks like it's going to be a battle once more between these teams. Oh, you can just see the fighting going on. Neither team really cares about this hard point too much. Just going for the control to kick things off. They know that you're not going to get a lot of time. And they're more worried about just making sure they don't have effective control. Except no, looking for this one, trying to engage. He's going to see two, three players come at him. Eventually just can't shoot them all down and does drop himself. Finally, a little bit of a touch coming in. Reciprocity do end up taking a few points off of this one. But because of that, they may end up losing control around that top ring. Yeah, the dangerous thing here is that Arsis is just a slither away from his specialist. You're looking at Sip, he's been sitting on that war machine for a while, but Zed, he's got the Maddox in hand, and that's all he's concerned about. This is going to be a huge fight here for control of the Lambo hardpoint between these two teams. Sims inside right now. Shawnee just been spotted out, but three players fall. That's going to be four players falling for E United here. Arsatis with the ICR, though, set up beautifully. Tommy goes down. Zed's going to be taken down to very low HP as well. Oh, there we go. Sims come out. He's got the war machine. Can he make this work? No, oh, he can't. He's just going into the water and doing nothing. Reciprocity trying to force the front. They've got their kills coming through. It's still going to be E United at the back, though. And can they make this work for them? They've got to go hard and get into it. Arsenal is trying to take down Shorty. Nothing coming in. It's going to be a BZ going over the top. He ends up he gets it shut down. Zed ends up using his grab slam as well. And Reciprocity hold. They hold here. There is going to be a little bit of a pinch come in, but Reciprocity have it locked down for now. Yeah, Zed had to invest his grab slam though to get that to happen. And it's worked out for him as Tommy wins a battle up close and personal with Simp. Gives him a few seconds to rethink about challenging that one next time. 18 seconds left. Rec will pick up this time and they're inching closer to sending this to a game five. 
And what a comeback it would be. Simp though, working with Clayston to pick up some kills here for E United. And it looks like E United are the team who are set up here for the rotation. And they've been pretty strong so far on this half point. This is where it gets very, very serious. Now keep an eye on Shawnee because this team is going to have to get close enough to stack and use these score streaks effectively. Here we go, Lightning Strike now coming into it. They lost the kills though as well. Shawnee gets one, but it doesn't mean anything as they get completely wiped out. They now have a Hellstorm to work with. Second attempt. Can they break this? Shawnee waiting for his teammates to get into a good stack. No, he's actually going to come out himself here. Manages to get that one. That tech five has been popped for them. Tries to get the second kill. He goes down as well. Second attempt is no good for reciprocity. Complete wipe on the board. And now you're seeing the tech five boost come in as well for E United. Tommy has the war machine. Dylan, moments away from getting his Tempest as well. Sim picking up a couple of kills here. Waskin's going to be taken down by Arsatiz. And E United are roaring back into this game. Couple of seconds left on this hard point. Then it's only going to be a couple of seconds between the two teams as Arsenis puts Dylan on his back. Sim picks up one as well. Oh, Sim's got full streaks. Streaks have rather come raining in here at Rock. Everything's coming in. Shawnee calls in his Hellstorm. Is it going to be enough? He only gets Prestini. That's all he gets. It may not be enough for this one as both teams are firing it in. Sim's calling in the Hellstorm as well. Coming in in a reciprocity. Oh, no! the may have been shut down right there. They're trying to get into it. All going down. Only Shawnee can do anything. Three seconds left to go, and reciprocity out.